Hey, my name is Lear and you're watching Toasted. Mr. Lear, welcome to Amsterdam again. Thank you. You played an incredibly long gig yesterday and this is part of a concept, but I mean, this is a seven, eight hour set you're doing? Yes, last night was not that long, it was uh, just, uh, just a six hour set. Um, but yeah, so far I'm I'm doing minimum uh, six hours to uh, yeah even uh, eight yeah, nine sometimes uh, I think ten maybe. But uh, so far um, um, Watergate was the longest one, but uh, I had uh, the help of uh, Musumeci and Sandrino who supported me. That must have been a nice set. Yeah, fantastic uh, because. Uh, we played the whole night the same BPM. We didn't go. There was a fantastic energy uh, on the water gate, uh, on the water floor. We played the whole night in the water floor. There was only the water floor open it wow. because it's a, it was a wet, uh, Wednesday, and we stayed the whole night uh, 120 BPM. And and people was dancing, was following us. So yeah, we played. Any kind of music from disco to afro, deep house, everything, uh, acid, uh, people was always following us. Uh, very, very nice, very nice. So, uh, a nine hour set fly, uh, fl flew, by. Uh, flew by, yes. I know, I wonder how do you prepare for a set that long? I mean, but you know what, bro, I don't prepare the set, I never prepare the set. I, when, I mean, of course, I prepare. I have all my music in in the in the different folders, uh, but I prepared mm, all the music I have uh, in USBs. Mm, I prepared the the um, the monthly folders. You know, I have January, December, November, uh, but uh, I did, for example. Uh, a couple of years ago, I tried to to make a, a special folder for for the night, and. Um, I was the one of the of the um, one of the time where I I didn't enjoy and where I didn't like how I played because it's a, I think it's a mental thing maybe you um, you. you 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 just close yourself. This is a personal thing. I just close myself in in that folder. So I I say okay, let's stay in that folder. Let's stay in that folder. And maybe I I'm I didn't go in the other one where I, maybe there could be uh, music that could be good for for the for the chance. And you never know what you find in in the, in the, in a gig. You know, yeah. you never know. You know, every gig is different, of course. And and there's no easy gig uh, especially when you play uh, all night long you have to give everything you have uh, because uh, yeah always you have and so you have you, you you never know what to play and you have to have the the you have to know that you can play any everything you have in the folder so you I, say I, I just prepare myself sorry <laughs> just listening to to the music i have um, in the afternoon i listen the only thing i prepare I maybe mean, no i prepare i think is the the first two tracks really? that's it yes and then i go and then i already know now everything uh, what i have in this year so yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey of course uh, we remember you of this legendary bedroom set that you did for us at ade um, it was just I mean, one hour, but uh, next. But everybody next wanted you to stay longer. Or yeah, yeah, because yeah, I mean, you had to. I think you had to catch a plane, or, or somebody had to catch a plane. But I mean, that set was amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's such a, I think it's probably the smallest venue you ever played, right? Uh, yes. It was packed, yes, though. Yes, I mean, yes, it was yes, so yes, full yes, of people. Yes, yes. yes was it was the smallest. Uh, yes, I think it was the smallest. Yes. People but are still was, talking was about was it. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I'm. Sometimes I think about that gig and uh, yeah, definitely we have to to make it again next uh, AD for sure. But sooner would be would be great. I think a lot of people next will show. I think we need to have a bigger bedroom this time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Hey, again, that said, you also you didn't prepare at all. I mean, no, you just no, no, walked no. in. Uh, you, you felt the atmosphere. Of course, it was packed. I mean, maybe the, there there were like thirty lucky bastards in this really small room. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> rock the place uh, and uh, they wanted you to stay i mean but even in such a small place how do you get the vibe going because it must be tough right no i it wasn't tough bro because uh i i saw the people that that was uh so enthusiastic since the beginning 
that that was everything spontaneous you know um so the first thing i i remember i as always i prepared was the first track maybe the second one i knew of course that i had to to start very quiet because it was an apartment and yeah <laughs> but um yeah and then well, the volume I, went up pretty quickly yeah but when i listened <laughs> to the set for example because then at home i had a, a few listeners uh, after the gig you know when you posted it online uh, I, I checked it a few times and i discovered no yeah yeah i i am i am satisfied and and i and i realized uh i played tracks that usually i never played you know there are a few tracks that i never played you know there are a few tracks that in that period i was i was playing uh, a lot but there are also uh, uh, two uh yeah because it's a one hour set uh that old one and I never played uh, uh, and I was like oh, how I felt to play this track it was good <laughs> so that's why you know what I was thinking was I was telling you before that I never prepare and so my mind is free you know and I can always rolling uh, in the in the in the millions of folders that uh, yeah well, I was I was sorry I was preparing more the set when I was playing vinyl because uh, you you have to Mm, uh, yeah, you have to select uh, uh, the records, yeah. you know. Uh, okay, so when I was when I used to play with vinyls, it was different. Now with USB, I'm I have a uh, hundred and more gigabytes of music. So I I why should I prepare, you know, for uh, yeah. Fully agree. Hey, this first. Uh, uh, small tour that you. This is a small tour. I mean, maybe it's only like ten gigs that you do, like rounds, like seven to seven hour sets. You started off in Venice, I uh, saw, which is of course uh, sort of your hometown. I, I, st I didn't start in Venice. Uh, I started in uh, in uh, Jakarta. It was oh the first was the first of the of the old through the night tour, and the total are uh, eighteen gigs uh, in uh, one month and a half. Holy! Uh, yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was uh, what I was uh, dreaming. You, uh, you know, this this old through the night tour is giving me so many beautiful uh, mm, uh, emotions, and y you really understand when you leave it you, because uh, when you play from the beginning till the end um, there's a particular uh, feeling and link that that uh, you create with the with the crowd with the people you know and uh, you talk with every person because when you play six hours seven hours you and I'm playing in not uh, thousands of people of uh, stages of thousands of people but uh, you know so far uh, very intimate gigs uh, maximum uh, 600 people but more or less I I, I recognize mm, all the people uh, I'm playing after six hours you know so I see everyone in the uh, from the beginning to the end what kind of night he's having and in the end they also are talking to you are communicating to you um, and in the end it's so nice because you see that people is completely uh, into your music and you are completely uh, um, uh, serving them with your uh, with, with, with everything you have with your energy and with your uh, vibes and with your uh, of course music and so in the end I saw that so far people is enthusiastic uh, and it's something that you that it remains forever into you I, I remember every gig I did so far really? uh, of the tour yeah wow. I remember uh, not all the gigs I did so far in my life, of course, but of the tour, so far, I remember every gig. If I think, I remember everything, I remember few, uh, more or less everyone. So far, there's no gig I'm uh, not happy about it, you know. And uh, this also because my, my booker, Marik, I worked uh, in, together with the other guys of the Dynamic Agency. It worked uh, very, did an amazing job. A lot of people were asking us questions, okay, we enjoyed the set, uh, loved him, we want more music. Uh, people checked your Facebook and saw there was a release in November. Uh, they saw there's a video where you're working with, uh, with some vocals. Of course, now you're on tour, this is very demanding, but are you working on music? 
Uh, yes, I always uh, go to the studio uh, because, um, let's say, uh, usually on Sunday I'm always Sunday night I'm always uh, home. Uh, I take the Monday off uh, usually, and uh, Tuesday I I try to go in studio, of course. Tuesday and and Wednesday and Thursday I go in studio. Uh, uh, yes, it's f it's important because I feel already lost if I uh, I love DJing, but I, I love also to 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 work on new music. Uh, so will there be a release soon? And uh, now I have uh, one Lair Musumeci EP which is on the pipeline and uh, we still have to decide uh, when when it will be out but I think uh, the, uh, for sure in the 2017 and this is, will be the first EP uh, together with Musumeci. We had uh, a few remixes, uh, three tracks. We ha we have uh, six seven tracks together, but we decided to uh, to to release maybe three tracks. Yes, but your music is really I mean, I don't I don't just want to listen to three 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 tracks. Yes. I want to listen to a whole hour. You know I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand. That's why I, do you remember in the Florence Zephyr EP it was a four a four tracks EP. Mm -hmm. Even even the the magical realism was was a three tracks EP. Uh, but it was quite intense. We we decided to to keep it three tracks uh, because then uh, I delivered another tracks for 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 the for the ten year uh, dynamic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but usually, yeah, even me, I I, I always always up to to give more 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 but sometimes uh, it's better also three i think is enough uh, because uh, for an ep otherwise you you work on, on an album and you work on a message a different message and then you can do you can deliver 10 12 and a layer album would be amazing yeah i think a couple of uh, a couple of years uh, yeah a couple of years that's that, that takes yeah. way too long man no because uh, there are uh, Mm, I still want to learn uh, more from myself and more from 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 the. I I'm, yeah I don't feel I'm not feeling uh, ready at the moment. I I want to focus on a few things uh, in this 2017, 2018. Then if I start working on an album and of the year, I think. 2019 could be ready and so yeah that's why i tell you a couple of years you know well, we have to wait for that but in the meantime you will play live a lot and hey. also there are there will be a music uh, that i will release eh? no good. don't worry good, don't good, worry good, now good. there is a there is a beautiful uh, uh i really i'm satisfied about no i'm not telling this beautiful because it's me but 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 i'm very satisfied with this remix for for gay jay it will be out in uh, one month and a half for gay jay and Ken. Nice. Yeah, one month and a half, and then I have uh, I am working on a remix for uh, for BOG on Bedrock. Uh, yeah, and uh, then uh, I tell you, I told you the, the EP with Lea Musumeci. Then there is another EP layer coming so out in the summer. Videos. Yeah, there will be, of course, of course, of course. Ne never, I, I I always want to release uh, two three EPs a year and two three uh, remixes a year always. Where you go next? So tonight is, t is Turkey. Tonight Turkey. Next weekend uh, I have um, Poland, Wroclaw, and then I have uh, Tankerike, I think, in Germany, nice. and then the w the week uh, after I have uh, Tel Aviv on Thursday. I have uh, Jordania on um, on Friday, and I have uh, Munich on Saturday. Yes, nice. and then the weekend after which is the last I have uh, beautiful Copenhagen and Oslo weekend Sweet. and that's Sweet. Uh, how is uh, how is ending yeah yes yeah, right. and then you will be back here in Amsterdam for uh, the dynamic festival I think yes yes yeah. last year was a fantastic experience yeah. with a fantastic production oh, what a festival no. also the after party was very good but but the festival was fantastic I played in the second stage oh, was great yeah. Mamma mia. I was the first uh, who I opened that the stage. I remember because yeah, uh, yeah, I played the f as, uh, at 1 p.m. But I remember 1:30 was already people dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was very yeah, good. It was, it was very, very good. good. Yeah, let's looking forward for 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 this time. Are you coming? Yeah, yeah. sure, Come of course. There, Hey, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, thanks to you for this interview. It's always a pleasure seeing you, huh, my friend.